We've mentioned China, but we haven't really gone there. So let's go to China. How do you read China coming out of this? Because in a sense, they're advertising to the world that they are coming out of this, but they're coming out into a very different world. And that's got to matter for China. How do you read the whole sort of China growth project and governance project post-corona? It's a pretty stunning moment, again, because I was looking at the auto industry through this, because they seem like a good bellwether, you know, they're a little old fashioned, but nevertheless, big employer, you know, global manufacturing business, too easily underrated. You know, and it's a stunning fact about the world right now that the only factories that VW, the largest car manufacturer in the world, has open that are making cars that are being sold to actual customers are in China. Right? Right. So there is a there is a, an action. There's a there, cars. there. There's a real reality to the fact that they're coming out and everyone else is, is still it? shut right. down, right? So that's that's clearly the case. The other thing we've got to do when we do these comparisons is get our scales right, because if you're because China is the size of Europe, the United States, and everyone else put together, really, in terms of the scale of its economy, not GDP. Yes. Um, and if you look at Hubei province, Hubei province is still wrecked. I mean, Hubei's province is GDP, which is the equivalent of looking at Italy after all, because it's about yeah. the same population then that's by no means recovering. But in the right. rest of the giant organism of the Chinese economy, there's real recovery. The thing for me that's really striking, the dog that hasn't barked, is where's China's stimulus? You know, if right. you get really into the weeds, if you follow, you know, whatever Western sources that a non-Chinese speaker can follow on the PBOC, you know they're tinkering. They are, leave, you know, twid twiddling all the different buttons on their dashboard, and they have a lot of different buttons to manipulate the Chinese credit system. But what mm. they're not doing is saying, they're not issuing one of those party directives the way they did in the fall of right. 2008, which is comrades, you know, the future of the nation is at stake. We expect you to find an investment project and report to party headquarters next week on what it is and what you're going to do about making sure it gets built in the next month. Right. That is not happening. Right. Um, that's what they did with the virus itself. I mean, that, you know, the, the lockdowns were implemented as a as a party campaign. There is no stimulus equivalent. And so what's happened, I mean, 12 years on from 08, is clearly China's a lot richer. It matters far more to the global economy. Um, it doesn't rely on exports anywhere near as, as it much as it did in 08, but it is also much more constrained. Um, mm -hmm. This is a kind of Michael Pettis theme, you know, that, that we need to look at the way in which Beijing is actually at this point hobbled by three things, basically, by the, the fragility in its financial system. They simply don't know how much they can trust the banks to do the job of acting as a flywheel. There's too much investment for too long and too much of it's unproductive. So their debt to GDP ratio is really flat to them and they know it. And the third thing is the worry, the memory of 2015, 2016, when China right. experienced, you know, $1 trillion of outflow and they really don't want to go back there. And the last thing the emerging market world needs as well is instability in the Chinese exchange rate. So right. for all of those reasons, you know, Beijing is, for me, the dog that hasn't barked. They've done the public health thing. So you would expect now the triumphant economic policy yeah. follow up. Not so far. Um, yeah. Very quiet to at spring week last week, not banging the one belt, one road drum, meekly, it seems, basically going along with the rest of the G20 and doing debt relief. No strong signs of, you know, a heavy, a heavy um, unilateral Chinese grand strategic project at that moment. Yeah. So kind of a bit of a puzzle, really.